Ooh, hoo, hoo, goodies. Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. What is up everyone, welcome back. My name is Anthony. So if you watched my video on Friday, you saw that garage sales here in central Indiana got pretty much rained out on Friday. I think we made it to one or two before the rain came pouring down and we found a few things that I showed you last video. Well, the exact same thing happened on Saturday. We made it to one garage sale before the rain came pouring and everyone scurried off to their garages where they were never to return because the rain continued all day long. But at that one garage sale, we did find a few things that I'll show you here in a second. And after that, we need to run down the street for a little porch pickup that my wife Sarah found on the Nextdoor app. So that should be a pretty good little pickup. We'll head out there and then I'll show you that stuff when we get back to. And before I show you this garage sale stuff from Saturday, I do want to quickly say thank you for all the comments and prayers and good vibes and thoughts that you've all sent me and Sarah. If you didn't see the last video, Sarah's MS has really been acting up and she had to go on a pretty hardcore dose of steroids the last few days. She's been pretty miserable, but I just want you all to know that all the kind words mean a lot to us. So thank you so much. And I do want to give a special shout out to my friend Sam from the Dapper Tiger YouTube channel. Sam, now I may get this a little bit wrong. The way I remember it, Sam used to be a practicing doctor of sports medicine and now he's a reseller. I'm not sure if he's still practicing medicine. I, I don't think so. I could be wrong about this. So Sam, correct me if I'm wrong. But he reached out to me and asked about some pain spots that Sarah was having and basically taught me a few massages to relieve pain in those areas and they worked and Sarah was very happy and I was very happy that I could help her in that way. So Sam, thank you so much. And if you have not yet, do check out Sam's reselling channel, Dapper Tiger. I will link it in the description below. Highly recommended, super helpful guy, super nice, very knowledgeable. Thank you, Sam. Okay, but the stuff that we picked up real quick from that garage sale on Saturday, I found this neat desk right here. It's got all the cords and the software and the manual and everything. It was $5. Should do pretty good on that. I've never sold a neat desk, but comps looked pretty good, especially when you're paying $5 for it. This little, I think it's an Android game controller made by Moga. It was marked at five. I offered three because a lot of times these things are just really cheap and kind of stupid. This one just felt a little more quality and it looked a lot like an Xbox One controller. So I offered them three. I'm not exactly sure what it's worth, but should probably make a few bucks on that at least, I would guess. There was a first party Nintendo DS little backpack case for $1. No games or, or console inside it. There is a power supply and a stylus. And it looks like a a car power supply for the DS. Paid one dollar for it. I think I think these little bags usually go for ten or twelve bucks, maybe fifteen. And it's always helpful to have a DS power supply or a stylus on hand because a lot of times when you find them, they don't have them with them. So a dollar for that. And the last thing I picked up that yard sale before the flood waters washed us all away was this five dollar new in box canary view indoor security cam looks like about a 50 dollar camera for five bucks so not bad at all so now we're getting ready to head down the street like i said sarah was on the next door app it was kind of during a steroid induced bout of insomnia she was just kind of searching through the next door app which i rarely do but she is actually pretty good at finding stuff on there and she found this guy that was selling like four or five different things and contacted him and he finally got back with us yesterday and we asked if he would do a porch pickup and he said sure i'll put that stuff on the porch and just put the money under the mat so we're gonna go pick it up and when we get back i will show you what we're picking up just pulled up to the porch pickup location There should be a plastic bag under the mat. There it is. Let's see if I can get it all in one trip. Alright, alright. Alright. Let's get this stuff home and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Woohoo, goodies. All right, so we're back from the porch pickup. I'm gonna show you what we got. Also, I wanna say, I got a little surprise when we got home. My good friend, Kevin, who used to dabble in reselling quite a bit, was cleaning out his basement 
and he sent me kind of a couple little mystery boxes of inventory. No real clue what's inside here, but after I get done showing you all this stuff that we picked up during the uh, porch pickup, I'm gonna open this stuff up and, and see what good old Kevin sent us. Now this porch pickup lot from next door, we paid $20 for all of it. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty proud of Sarah for finding this stuff for that price. Obviously, I'd rather she be able to get some sleep, but it's super cool that she was able to find this. So let me show you real quick what we picked up during this porch pickup off of next door. First off is this little lot of calculators. Obviously, you can tell most of these are trash. The one that intrigued us was this right here, this little Casio, because we couldn't see the model number. And sometimes these thin little Casios have special features like music or games or something, and we just couldn't quite tell what it was. So it was intriguing enough that we went ahead and picked up the whole lot, just thinking that we'd end up donating some of the rest of them. Turns out it's not worth a whole lot. There's some active listings on eBay that make it seem like it may fetch a few bucks, but no real sold for just one used one. Then we have these two Stanley, I guess, thermoses. Now, I've not really dealt a lot in thermoses, but I kind of looked up this one, and this seems like it's a vintage USA made number 100 um, Aladdin Stanley thermos. And that seems like it has some pretty good comps on it. Like I saw one recently sold in similar condition for about 35 bucks. So that one's okay. This is, says it's made in China. I'm assuming it's newer and probably not worth quite as much. Again, this was all 20 bucks. So might get our money back just on this thermos right here. This was pretty cool. This, this is one of my favorite things to pick up. It's a Sony micro cassette recorder. It's model M665V. Normally I'll throw some micro cassettes with it and sell it for between 20 and 40 bucks, depending on what the market is at that time for that particular model. This one's kind of interesting because it actually has Sony rechargeable batteries in it and an external Sony battery charger for those batteries. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then probably the neatest thing from that lot was this hot wire foam factory. It's like a foam molding kit, I guess. And comps are kind of all over the place, but a complete set like this, like a with the uh, variable power controller and two handles and whatever this thing is. Looks like it could possibly do pretty well. I need to do a little bit more research. He also threw in a milk crate full of unused still wrapped foam too, so that's pretty cool. But I think we'll end up doing okay with this. I'm just not sure exactly what we'll sell it for. Pretty cool, all this stuff here for 20 bucks just down the street because it was on the Nextdoor app. So good job, Sarah, that was an excellent find. All right, so let me clear some of this stuff out of the way, and then we are going to unbox this mystery inventory and see what we can do with it. Give me just a second. All right, so we're gonna dig into this mystery inventory here and see exactly what we can find. Let me try to set this camera up so we can see what's going on. All right, let's start with the padded flat right. So he sent some extra padded flat rates because he's probably not using them anymore. And he knows I will. So that's a score right there. An unaltered small flat rate box. And then it looks like a couple tape recorders. This is a Lanier Micro Set 60. So that's pretty cool. That's that's two micro cassette recorders in one day. I love selling micro cassette recorders. And then a, a Mura High Stepper AM FM stereo. Never heard of this brand. Battery compartment looks clean. Always a good sign because it looks vintage. Made in Hong Kong. Very cool. Okay, let's open the bigger box now. Another pad flat right. Very nice. I'm seeing a bunch of blank media. Let me give you the bird's eye view. Kevin definitely knows me. It's filled with blank media. All right, let's see what we got. An unopened pack of Maxell DVD-Rs, three pack. A unopened pack of Memorex DVD-Rs, a 10 pack. A two pack of Maxell VHS-C TC30 cassettes. I love selling these things. There's a Sony VHS-C. There is a little Tuning Technologies Respond Card NXT. I have sold these before. I think I, I think I normally get between 10 and 20 for them. Awesome. A brand new set of, this is a set, do not separate labels. I use these constantly for Amazon, and I may be getting low. A pack of micro cassettes. I don't see it. Oh, it looks like there's like an Amazon, possibly private label product, but I can definitely throw these either with that Sony cassette recorder or that Lanier, and that will bump up the value of those items. A couple blank VHS tapes. I think I have some of these, so this might complete a bundle too. I don't, I don't think I have any of the Max L's but I can always throw that in with a VCR or something when I sell it. Numerix, oh, these are high bias cassette tapes. That is good, always look for the high bias. Those usually do a little better than just your standard cassette tapes. New, unused, and that, that might be worth a couple bucks right there, so that's very cool. 
another one of my favorite things to sell unopened diskettes i love finding and i've not found any for a long time so that's that's gonna be fun to sell those those usually sell for me on amazon in the in the maybe 10 to 25 dollar range depending on brand a 10 pack of dvd r's by memorix some more do not separate stickers i'm not gonna have to order any for a long time some max sell ur60 cassettes these aren't high bias or anything these are just normal bias i think i have some of these too and these are something i normally sell in in groups so that might complete a lot for me looks like a lot of this media is going to complete lots and be ready to sell right away so that's very cool there's another uh, max sell high bias cassette tape a one pack very neat and then a tdk high output cassette tape something like this i would normally just bundle probably with with a cassette player like a little panasonic cassette player and this is very cool i've sold this before it's a sony g protection d sj301 cd player actually let me look this up real quick because this this might be pretty decent so it looks like on amazon fba it starts off at 39.95 so that's that's a that's a 40 dollars sell right there and another flat rate envelope can always use those so that was super cool, Kevin. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to make money on that stuff. That That is exactly the type of stuff I like to sell. But like I said, we're old friends, so he knows that. And that was super generous of him. And a complete surprise for that to show up on my doorstep today. So thank you so much, buddy. All right, guys. So that ought to do it for us today. That's all I got for you. Not a lot of action, but some decent pickups. I need to get this stuff listed before the weekend. So I'm going to be busy the next next day or so. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.